What's up guys, welcome back to Half Men of Tech. So as you can see here, we have a new update that was released today and it's iOS 14.2 beta 3 now for me on my iphone 6s that you see here it's actually coming in at 518.3 megabytes so it's not a big file and i've already downloaded this update and if we go into the settings of this device and go to the general and go to the about this iphone section you can see the software version that we have here that it has an f at the end so that is the build number that we have here and if we go back and go to where it says iPhone storage, you can see that system is taking up 7.32 gig, which is quite a lot compared to what we had on the previous version. Now, there's quite a number of new features that came with this update. And the first two have to do with the iPhone 12 event that we had today. Now, as you might know, we now have a new HomePod mini. And what this update does, it now enables you to have more control of your home if you have a HomePod device in your home. And so if you go to the home application, this is the home application. And if you have a HomePod device and if you have the new HomePod mini, which is going to be coming out soon, you can now use that device as an intercom within the home application. And not only that, but if we go to the control panel of this device here, depending on how you set up your device, you can also have a HomePod device or control center icon here for the home pod so that is something new that came with this update also with this update you are going to notice that the icons are going to be continuously be adjusted so you might see more spacing between this dock that you see here and the icons and you might see that you know your widgets are actually changing in sizes between the different updates that we are going to have and the reason for this is to accommodate all the different display sizes that we have with the icon iPhone 12 as you might know we have an iPhone 12 mini which is going to be a smaller device compared to some of the devices that we already had that were running iOS 14 and also we have the iPhone 12 Pro Max which is a bigger device so this is a continuous adjustment it's going to be minor but if you do have two devices to compare you will notice this also with this device if you play music using the Apple music app this is something that I don't use because I use Spotify you're going to notice you know different changes now the first change has to do with you see this volume adjustment that you can do here now haptic feedback has been removed for this which is quite unfortunate because I do like haptic feedback when I can tap something and basically know whether something is playing or not and not only that but when you lock your device also so something that has to do with music when you lock your device and you are playing a song right and it's from the apple music app you now have you know like timestamps within the device so you can see that if you want to skip ahead where you'll be skipping to and also you can see how long the track is if you have you know that apple music feature so that's also something new that came with this update now the apple tv app also has a bit of more options so if you use the apple tv app this app there's a few more options that were added to this although i don't use it myself but feel free to check it out and it has to do with you know the connections that you make to your tv now if we go into settings and then go to accessibility which is right here and then scroll down to subtitles and captioning if you click that you can see that we have a new menu which is show audio transcriptions now this is something that you can turn on and off and I'll just leave it off but if you are on iOS 14 beta 2 this menu is actually not available for you so that's something new that came with this update now when it comes to battery performance on iOS 14.2 beta 3 I still need some time to use it but on iOS 14.2 beta 2 which i was on previously if we go to see the battery that i had here let's go to the battery section and see the battery health you can see that you know my maximum capacity remained at 80 percent no change 
right there and if we go to see the last 10 days the screen on time that i had you can see that you know not much of a usage there but uh i actually couldn't complain when it comes to battery usage on ios 14.2 beta 2 now when it comes to performance let's just close everything so that you see how fast applications are opening look at that that settings opening and look at this this is chrome opening you can see that chrome did delay a little bit but i noticed that default apple applications are actually opening faster compared to before you can see how fast clock opens look at settings again super fast so default apple apps are opening faster compared to third-party applications that's what i noticed that has changed also with this beta now if we look at geekbench scores that i have here let's go to the history that i have so for cpu these are the scores that i had on ios 14.2 beta 2 single core 549 and multi core 1024 and you can sort of you know compare to what i had on beta 2 this is beta 2 and this is beta 3 so not much of a change but it's slightly better when it comes to uh, multi-core performance if we look at compute or gpu performance this is the score that i had on ios 14.2 beta 3 2174 and on beta 2 i had 1974 so once again when it comes to gpu performance you can see that ios 14.2 beta 3 is way better now when it comes to perhaps the next release which is ios 14.2 beta 4 I'm just guessing at this time because you never know what Apple is going to do. We can sort of expect it next week between Tuesday and Thursday because while well, these updates are on a weekly cycle, they were sort of disturbed because of, you know, the Apple event and everything that was going on. I expect the next beta of iOS 14.2 to perhaps come out next week between Tuesday and Thursday. Now, iOS 14.1 actually came out today also, but Apple retracted that like after the 30 to 40 minutes after releasing the software and then again after like an hour apple released it again but this time around not as an official version but as a golden master version so you do need a beta profile to be able to download ios 14.1 i don't know why apple did this but it's something that did happen today and ios 14.1 is out as a gm so we can sort of expect the official release of ios 14.1 either thursday or on thursday this week or perhaps next week if it's delayed so basically that's about it for me when it comes to ios 14.2 beta 3 and i'm going to be doing perhaps a follow-up video in about three days so stay tuned for that and i will be able to tell you whether you should update or not so that's about it for me guys if you like this video drop a like and hit subscribe down below and thanks very much for watching stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video very soon. Peace.